Once you've finished filling out your file, you'll want to save it twice. Um, you'll want to save it one last time in Excel so that you can go back and edit later. But then you'll also want to save the document as a text tab delimited file, since that's the format that we require to upload it into our system. To do that, you'll want to click File, Save As, and make sure you've chosen text tab delimited from the Save As type menu. Two warnings may come up. They're both normal, so if you encounter those uh, warnings, you can click OK and Yes to continue through. Once you've saved the file, um, you'll need to get back to the Add Products via Upload page, which you'll find under the Inventory heading. You'll see a drop-down menu that says Select Type of File to Upload. Whenever you're using the category-specific files, you're going to be choosing the first option, Inventory Files for Non-Media Categories. But of course, depending on the type of file you're using, you may choose a different option. You'll then click Choose File to find your document. Then select that text file and click Upload Now. Once your inventory file has been received, you'll get a success message telling you that it has been received, and you'll also get a batch ID number, which is the number that's associated with that particular upload.